Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, I am Sandhya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today lecture we will discuss about black box testing and white box testing in the software engineering. First we will discuss about the black box testing. Black box testing is the under the system requirement and functionality. It is focused on the input and output of the software process and is not bothering about the internal structure and the internal specification. Then software testing can test any types of system can test using the black box testing and it example for black box testing windows operating system like the windows and website like the google and database like the oracle or any user specification application can test use the black box testing. Next we will discuss about steps are involved in the black box testing. First tester can identify the specification requirement of software testing and next they have to determine the valid input and invalid input. Valid input under the positive scenario, invalid input in the negative scenario. You have to both test using the software under test process. It used to detect the fault and it also give the expected input and output of the process. And it also used to compare the input and output process and also fix the input after to the retest process. Next types of black box testing. There are three types of black box testing, functional testing, non-functional testing and regression testing. Under the functional testing testing under the requirement and specification of the software system under the non-functional testing it is not under in the specification it is under in the performance usability and scalability next regression testing regression testing and after the software test so finally you have to final code any updation or any other the system maintenance under in the regression testing next black box testing techniques there are three types of techniques in the black box testing First equivalence class testing, equivalence class testing used to they are partitioning the input into valid and invalid data and it used to reduce the time of the testing process and it also applicable for the test process. For example OTP, OTP number you have to fix the OTP number 6 digit so you have to split into invalid input and valid input. For example user give the invalid input for example digit greater than or equal to 7 means it is invalid digit less than or equal to 5 means it is invalid the digit equal to 6 means it is valid it is under in the equivalence class testing next we will see about the boundary value testing under the boundary values testing you have to set the boundaries boundaries for the all testing or focusing on the values of the boundaries and it, it also used to system accept the input or not and it also have the reduce the number of test cases for example, name, age, other number, address. So you have to focus on the age, you have to giving the boundary values for like 18 to 30. So you have to value the statement under the 18 to 30, it is a valid test case, below 18 is an invalid test case and above 30 is the invalid test case. That is under in the boundary values. Next we will discuss about decision table testing black technique. First it is have the systematic approach, it gives the combinations of input and the systematic behavior of the specified output. So it is under in the tabular column, it also called the cause effect table. It is used to pick up the systematic manner. So this is an example for the decision table, email id and password. So you have to correct email id, correct password means you have to go to the account page. Otherwise if it is giving the correct email id, wrong password means it is incorrect password wrong mail id correct password means invalid email id and wrong mail id and wrong password it will tell the invalid email okay this is the decision table testing next white box testing it is opposite to the black box testing under the white box testing it is also called as the clear box testing open box testing glass testing st structural testing transparent testing it is focused on the input output flows and also focusing on the structural security of the software there are six types of techniques in the white box testing. So first statement coverage. Under the statement coverage, it aim to traverse the all statement at least once. For example, under the look this flow chart, first A travels to C, C travels to G. So it covers the all edges. Uh, otherwise, A travels to B, travels to D, and travels to E node, S node, finally reach to G node. So uh, all statement can coverage at least one. So that is under in the statement coverage. 
next uh, branch coverage under the branch coverage the all nodes can must traverse at least once for example a can connect to c and g or a connect to b d e f and g or a can connect to b d e f and g finally other then connect to a b c e and g so any path can connect so all nodes can connect at least one path that is under in the branch branch coverage next condition coverage condition coverage it is all in individual connection must cover in the at least once for example if x equal to 0 or y equal to 0 any one statement can true will print the values 0 okay for example x equal to 0 y equal to 55 to give the output as 0 or x equal to 5 y equal to 0 will get output as 0 that is under the condition coverage next multiple condition coverage under the multiple condition coverage x equal to 0 y equal to 0 we have to test all test cases at least once so you have to find the four different test cases you have to checking the getting correct output or not that is under the multiple condition coverage next basic path testing under the basic path testing it is all in independent path for example you have to find the vertex of g using p plus 1 where p is the number of periodic nodes under the flow chart and vertex g e minus n plus 1 e is the number of edges and n is the total number of nodes and also find v of g using the non looping regions in the graph it is used to find all the basic path testing that is vertex of g next loop statement loop statement for using the for loop while loop do while loop all condition under in the looping statement okay it is check the ending condition correctly or not for example requirement one under the any program so you have to pass me looping correct loop means it is use the test case one like that you have to do the four test cases under the each requirement next void box system perform in the two steps first you have to find out the code structure then you have to should write code for the all possible test cases next strategies under the white box testing first one is coverage based and fault based under the coverage base it contain the element to be executed for example statement coverage statement coverage and the path coverage and fault based under the fault base it have to categorize the fault for example mutation testing finally we'll discuss about what is the difference between white box and black box testing First, white box testing it perform under the developer side and the black box testing testing under the test engineer side and white box testing should understanding the programming language black box testing no need to understanding the programming language under the white box testing it looking into the code and the test path black box testing only focusing on the application and functionality requirements finally Final difference between the white box testing under the white box any developer should design the internal code structure in black box no need to know about the internal design and code structure. Thank you.